Good morning, and today is Tuesday, December 19th. Our Bible reading is from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 18. So I'm going to tell you that story that actually comes from the Bible. And it has to do with what you color on 19, the fancy, fancy jar. <clears throat> now, you know that Jesus was born in a special Bethlehem, the one that's Bethlehem Ephrata. He was born in that Bethlehem. There were a lot of Bethlehems, so that tells you which one. And he was born there, but they only went there to get counted, Mary and Joseph <clears throat> and baby Jesus. Then they came back home to Nazareth. Well, while they were there, everyone was kind of hearing about this special baby who was a king. And people way over in Asia, the China area, they had some very smart men. They were so smart and they went to college upon college, like learning all kinds of things, mostly studying the Bible and saying, a savior is supposed to come. It says it way back in Isaiah. And that is like 700 years ago. A savior is supposed to come. We're supposed to look for a star. He's supposed to be born in Bethlehem. Hmm. And then they saw it. These men that were so smart, so amazingly smart and always studying, hardly ever playing, they saw the star. And they're like, whoa, whoa. And they're paging through their Bible scrolls and looking everywhere. And they said, this is it. Let's go to talk to King Herod. He surely must be excited that the new king, the savior of the world, is born in his area. So they went off, they got to King Herod, and they said, Hey, King Herod, we have brought many, many gifts, jars of fancy oil and sweet-smelling things and, well, all kinds of gold and everything to give to the king, the new king that's born in your land. And King Herod did not want a savior, Jesus, did not believe in all this God stuff, and said, I want to kill that baby if he's going to be a king. But he turned around nicely and said to the wise men, Oh, how wonderful. I don't know where he is. Why don't you guys go find him? Follow that star thingy. And then I'll come tell me on your way back. Come tell me. And then I'll go worship him. He didn't really mean it. Not one bit. Well, the wise men didn't know that. They were just wise men, but not wise about evil kings. So off they went, gave a bunch of presents to Jesus. But was it time for Jesus to die? No. So God takes care of everything. He came to the wise men and he gave them a message. Don't go back. I know you live over here and Jesus is here and you should go right straight back. And here's the king. King Herod, don't go back this straight away to King Herod, but go all the way around to get home because he wants to kill Jesus. And it's not time for Jesus to die. So the wise men who loved God, who believed Jesus was the Savior, like you and me, they listened to God even though it seemed a ridiculous long way to go home and went home the other way. For God always protects his plan. He has a plan for you, he has a plan for me, and he certainly had a plan for Jesus. And he will always make sure the right things happen. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for having a plan for us, for having a plan for Jesus, and always making the right things happen. Amen. See you tomorrow.